Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Nightmareology and today we'll be creating a script tutorial of how to read script the giant sword. Right here in my hand, I have the giant sword item already made. As you can see right here, it's giant sword with the clear sword, damage, and the item ability. Today we'll be only focusing on the item ability of the giant sword, because this is the hardest of the entire script. In this video, I'll be talking about and going over the plugins and add-ons you need for the script tutorial and how you can download them. The platform I'm using is on Minehut. You can also script this on any other server platform um, using script, not only on Minehut. And right now, let's get right into how we can do this thing. As everyone can see, we, I have opened up a new blank document for our script. At the start, since our ability is on right click, we'll put it on right click. And then code it. And now we need to do what item it is. If name of players held item is and six for legendary items, six is the golden color giant sword. And then code it. And then now I'm going to do the cooldown part. If we don't put the cooldown, the ability will crash and the ability won't work because it won't delete the sword that's stuck in the ground. Set weighted as what we're going to do as our cooldown variable to the difference. And now uh, the difference between the the another variable of cooldown colon colon percent player percent as if the player itself and colon colon and sword and now and now let's do if the variable weighted is less than Let's do 20 seconds. 20 seconds, this part will be the part where you put in the cooldown. The minimum of the cooldown for the giant sword is six seconds for the minimum of cooldown, or else the ability will crash. And then you do the, the, the message that it sends to you. And here, I'll be doing and see as if read. You must wait, and an end E as the seconds you'd have to wait. Percent, percent, and then between them, difference between um twenty seconds and weighted, and then we'll do NC again to finish it up to use this again. And then we send this to player. And then cancel event because we don't want this uh, um this ability to happen again. And then we do else and we do set cooldown um dot uh, player dot so we can copy it from here into this variable. Set cooldown to now. Now, as if the a place where you right click it, and then send. I would like. To, I usually like to do when you usably send something to you. Let's put send n seven. Who oh, you said it, and then n f and l, which is white and big and large, giants. Smash or giant slam. I don't want to do copyright entirely, so it's giant smash. Two player then we can do and then now is the part where we actually do the sword in the ground <laughs> since if you think about it the weapon ability is just a giant with dinner bone and it's invisible holding your iron sword so we do spawn a giant at location of player and then we will do set name 
of last spawned entity to capital letter D dinner mode. And then we can do apply invisibility one to last to last spawned entity um, for 9,999 seconds. I mean minutes. And then we do add no AI. If we don't do the no AI part, the giant's gonna move around and run around. So we're gonna do no AI equals one B to entity dash MVT of last spawned entity. And now we need to do set tool of last spawned giant to iron sword and play huge and then play huge explosion at the player. And then now we need to damage the entities in a nearby around area. So we will do damage all damage all entity entities in radius whatever you want. I will put a 10 right here. Radius around player where the thing, the input is not the player. Because if you don't put this, then it'll also damage yourself by how many hearts we put here. I would like to put 38 hearts because Giant Sword is a pretty buff and pretty good weapon for a lot of damage. Next of all, we gotta wait the amount of seconds for this um, mob to get killed. We will do wait 2 seconds or wait 40 ticks. 20 ticks is in 1 second. And after this, we need to set the tool of the, the giant to air, so that we don't see the, the sword fall over as if it dies. So what we'll do set tool of last spawned giant to air. And then we gotta kill last spawned entity. Just to be sure the entity is dead, we'll do this several amount of times. Wait one tick, and then we will kill the entity again, just in case the entity did not die the first time. We'll do it three exact times, and now this is the end of our script. Please remember this, and we'll reload it in just a second in game. Before we reload the script, I would like to tell everyone that this script requires SK Dragon, SKB, Tusk. SK Skelet, SK Rayful, SK Query, and Script itself. And now, let's move back to Minecraft and actually reload the script that we just coded. And now, I'm back and let's reload our script. I've, I've made a Meteor, because we really like this word Meteor. And see, it's successfully reloaded. And now, let's summon a few mobs to test out if actually the damage works or not. Let's right click, and it deals some damage. And you can also see that the cooldown also works. And you can also see that the giant has been dinner boned, and the sword has been stuck in the ground. It's pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Peace out.